So, Scott, the future sorted. How does it feel to be here at Woking? I'm delighted. Yeah, absolutely delighted to get it to get it all sorted. It's never it's never nice as a footballer during the off season when you're you're out of contract and you're you know going through the stages of you know talking to agents and talking to managers and you're just kind of desperate to get your your future sorted and know where you're you're going to be playing football. So no, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted to you know, to come down here and uh, to get all the uh, get everything signed off and get it completed. You played the majority of your career in the football league so far. What was it about this place that made it sure there was the next step for you? I think at my age, you know, I'm I turn 35 tomorrow and um, I've still got a lot of life in me. You know, I've, I've still got that competitive edge to in me, and I want to to go to a club that's going to compete. Um, that has ambitions like myself, and you know, I don't want to just go to a club that's happy to happy to be in the league and happy to, to be there. I want to, like I said, I want to go compete up at the top of the league, and I believe that the manager and the club want to do that. Um, it seems like there's a bit of a, a rebuild going on this season, and yeah, you know, when you get to the, this stage in my career, I've you know, I've experienced things, I've experienced promotions, I've experienced relegations, and I'm trying to you know step down to the, the national league and. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working with the manager and, and being involved with the club. And before your time in England, obviously you spent some time up in Scotland, in your home country. Uh, what was that experience like coming to the Celtic Academy, especially? Yeah, I was really fortunate. You know, from the age of 11, I was involved at, at Celtic. I, you know, I managed to be coached by some very good coaches. Uh, Learned a lot. I don't think you kind of realise until you, until you leave how big a club it is. But um, no, it was a great upbringing for me in a football sense. And um, you know, they, they taught me values that I've, I've kept with me throughout my whole career, and they've served me well. You, you mentioned sort of coaches. Are there any specific name in particular that has sort of stuck with you? Yeah, Tommy Burns is the one that, that sticks out. You know, people down in England they might not have heard from him, but you know, up in Scotland he's he's a legend. Unfortunately, he passed away about about ten years ago, but he was uh, one of those coaches that were infectious, and you know, an infectious coach, and had an infectious personality off the field as well. And he's he taught me a lot, not just as a as a player, but as a person as well. And uh, so you've played in Scotland, you've played in England. What are the main differences between those two games, and what aspects of the Scottish game have you sort of brought over to the English game? Yeah, I think I think down south it's a it's a lot more intense in terms of the schedule. Um, that's one thing that you notice when you when you first move down in, in Scotland. It's a lot of Saturday Saturday games. You get a lot of time on the on the training ground, especially down in the lower leagues and the, the football league and the national league. It's Pretty relentless with the with the scheduling, so you know that's something you have to get used to. And just in terms of uh, you know my own personality, just you know the, the, the things that that everyone kind of takes for granted, just the hard work, you know, the, the professionalism, all the kind of things that I've been brought up in, and that's kind of the things that I want to, you know, for when I when I play on a Saturday for the, the fans to see that side. Yeah, and talking of your own personality, um, one of your former managers, Dino Mamria, said you're one of the best leaders he's ever worked with. Um, where do you think that comes from? Is that something that's innate with you, or something that's come from your 400 plus games of experience? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's you know a bit of your personality, and it's also a bit of the you know the experiences that you get from all the games. And like I said earlier, you know the the promotions, the relegations, the, the good periods in your career, the bad periods, the, the injuries, everything it all comes together, and it it gains you this experience that that you're able to to hopefully pass on to the to the younger players and the the players that have got ambitions to go and play in the football league or go play in the Premier League. You know, you can you can when you get to this age you're able to pass all that down to them and, and hopefully help them along the way. You mentioned it earlier, you're obviously part of Darren's sort of rebuild here. How exciting is that to be part of part of a process like it? Yeah, I think that was one of the things when I when I met the manager a couple of weeks ago was his plans for the club, that you know the club's plans as well and that's certainly something that's um, that's drawn me towards it. Obviously I know uh, I know Jack Rogues, who's here, or as he was at Stevenage a few seasons ago. I played with Luke Wilkinson at Luton and at Stevenage. So this will be my third time playing with Luke. Um, yeah, and certainly the, the players that he's signing are, are positive signings, and um, you know hopefully there'll be a few more to come, and it'll be a, it'll be a positive season. And finally, you, you've tasted promotion before with Luton. Um, how will you take those experiences into here, and can we do it ourselves? <laughs> yeah, you know, I said it earlier in the interview, promotions are. You know the things that you, you know you, you crave for as a, as a player. You want to get promoted. You want to be successful. And I've been fortunate enough to get promoted from from League Two. And it, it's hard. It's hard to do. You know you need to, you need to have a good team. You need to have a good team spirit. You need to have a, a group of players that are willing to every day go out there and work hard and grind out results. And 
certainly from, from what I gather from the National League, it's no different to the, to the Football League. You're going to have to be able to do that. So, you know, that's certainly something that we're going to have to do if we, if we want to get promoted. Well, thanks for speaking with us. Welcome to Woking and uh, let's see you in a couple of weeks for pre-season. <laughs> Thank you. Look forward to it.